Hello, welcome to the second episode of CJ and Lead. Tonight's episode will focus on some reflections on leadership, ethics, and political power through the lens of the Golden Circle. The Golden Circle is a concept that was presented by Simon Sinek in a TED Talk. In his TED Talk, he suggested that effective leaders start with the why, move then to the how, and then talk about the what in order to influence change and in behavior. So this presentation will review some of my favorite lessons learned on leadership ethics and effective power tactics um, through that lens. So starting with leadership on the line, this book was uh, about the risks of leadership. So from a why standpoint, we lead because we have a leadership gift to give. How? By caring for ourselves and others, even in dangerous waters. So uh, leadership is risky. We have to set up a safety net for ourselves, focusing both on those who we lead and focusing on ourselves by caring for ourselves, taking the time to remain centered, um, and really making sure that we have the right things in place. And then the what is taking the risk of leadership. We are prepared because we have these tactics in place. Next, the politically intelligent leader suggested effective and ineffective power tactics that we can use to influence others. Um, and we do this because we seek to be influential leaders. We can do this by understanding the political styles and tactics of ourselves and others. And what? We exercise the effective power tactics um, in a politically charged situation. In this chart in the lower right hand side, uh, some different political styles are outlined. And you may not be able to see it too well, but there are two, uh, two items that differentiate these different political styles. The goal or initiative level of assertive, engaged, or passive. And then the second is the interests of the leader, whether it's self-interest, blended, or organizational uh, interests. So I am a strategist, I discovered through reviewing the material in this, in this text, and I have organizational focused interests with an assertive level. And I discovered there are some different political styles I have a challenge uh, being as effective with. And some of those are an analyst who are focused mainly on self-interest at a passive level and a challenger who is focused on self-interest at an assertive level. And one of those effective political power tactics that I can employ to influence these others uh, with different, different styles, different uh, political styles, is for challengers, I can really look for the common ground, come to the table prepared with my information, um, get a, an alliance with others, uh, form a coalition to forward my cause with a passive analyst style um, self-interest political uh, person. I can really engage them early in the process to make sure that I'm getting their input into it. Jenny Cross did a TED Talk on three behavioral change myths. And one of these are key and central to her message is that we uh, really respond best to an ethos approach. This is like peer pressure or we do something because everything is do everybody is doing it. This is a, an idea from Aristotle. She didn't exactly say ethos, but what she was talking about is the most effective appeal 
to change behavior is convincing the audience of the author's credibility or character and getting them to follow along um, with what this ethical character is doing rather than just presenting the benefits of changing. So uh, from a why standpoint, because we seek to change behavior, how by role modeling and encouraging others to follow suit, what we can employ in an ethos appeal which is proven to be most influential. Barry Schwartz also did a very um, insightful TED Talk on our loss of wisdom. Mr. Schwartz suggested that because rules limit our ability to exercise moral judgment, we uh, can exercise moral reason rather than strictly ad adhering to guidelines. This is all about using your brain to make ethical decisions instead of doing something just because it is the rule or it's the precedent that's set. It in he's encouraging us to broaden our thinking to really consider what is right in every situation. Further, Howard and Culver present a code of ethics approach to um, guiding yourself via an ethical compass. So because doing the right thing is central to leadership, how by developing and living within a personal code of ethics, what we can make ethical leadership decisions. So essentially, develop your own ethical code based on what you believe is right and then use this as a compass to guide your decisions. Finally, I have some references that I use to learn these key le lessons presented here for you. This is the first page and here's the second page. I hope you enjoyed this edition of CJ and Drive Results and keep stay tuned for more. Thank you.